Hello, it's Sarah. I have a couple of things I want to share today. Um, my faux dories. So this is a Midori's Traveler's Notebook. This is the regular size um, Midori, and that I think it only comes in one size, but there's faux dories and all these different people, because you can make them. So what I've been doing is I've been making the faux dories um, out of leather that I got at Michael's, and I wanted to share those with you. I've also been having a really good time making these charms. Now this one came off an Arta cake. I just took this off the bottom of an Arta cake and I love it. I've been loving the chains and stuff. So this is really, I have, I think, two books in here. This is the actual Midori notebook that comes from Japan. Um, and it's just like a craft card stock cover with plain white paper inside. And then I made this. This is an accessory that you can get. It's like a little file folder, but I made this one out of a file, a file, um, an actual file folder. I just copied the one that I have from Midori. Um, and then this is a notebook that I made to go in here, and I made it with watercolor paper. And I put all of my uh, Julie Nutting what are they called? The, the girl stamps, the Julie Nutting paper dolls or whatever they're called. Um, I also added faces to all of them. I don't know if you can see that. And that way, whenever I want to it, take it on the go, I have something to color. I just thought they would fit and they fit so perfect. Look at that. There's a little sunshine. Hi, Kirby. And I put faces. So then Maya and I watercolored. Friday night and I'll show you that we did the mermaid and I just used my um, Tim Holtz markers but I want to do a couple of these with my intense pencils and play around with them so this is all of the stamps I have all the girls there's a lot more of them out now but I just put in what I had so it worked out perfectly and that's really all I have in here right now I haven't really been using it it's except for that and I just but I like it I like it um, some people prefer the extra wides because they hold more books like there's only two books and a folder in here and there's nothing in the folder so there's not a lot but they it starts to squeeze out the end so I made myself a wider one and all I did was go to Michaels and get the eight and a half by eleven um, leather sheets that they sell. They sell brown and black and I showed you the little ones that I had but I made this one. <sighs> Kirby go this way. Come this way. Um, uh, this was the last one they had so the back looks a little rough which I didn't mind because this is actually the second one that I made because I decided to stamp into the leather with these tools that I got this morning. I was ready to share this with you guys this morning, um, but I, I'm going to let Kirby out. Hold on. I'll probably have to stop this in a minute when she wants to come in. But anyway, I got up this morning because I finished this late last night. I'll show you inside here in a minute. Um, but I really wanted to stamp and I've watched all these videos and figured I, I got this, you know. So I did Maya's. This one I gave to Maya. She saw this charm and whenever I, she comes over and I show her what I've been making, she, you know, she kind of wanted one. So I was like, sure. So she picked this one and I thought it was cute and appropriate for her. So um, I wanted to put her name on it. So I did. So I stamped her name and I think it turned out pretty good for, this was my very first attempt. I didn't have any scrap leather to play with so I just went for it and I mean I don't know I don't know why I chose hers to do it but um, the one thing I would say is one of the tutorials I saw he kind of scratched a line on it and that's what he used to make his letters straight I won't be doing that anymore because I saw another tutorial um, where she just took a ruler a heavy ruler like weighted it down and then butt up against it and that was her straight line. I think I want to try that next time. Uh, also the eye. 
um, you really don't have to tap the I as hard as the other letters because it's like a it's a very sharp it just goes right into the leather easily so that's kind of deeper than the other things but the rest of it like and I just colored the heart in with a jelly roll pen and I put a little butterfly up there so it was pretty good now this leather is more like the Midori leather it has like a it's rougher it feels like leather I can't explain it um, but there's this leather this is from Michaels too and this in the inside it's it's just like the regular. Oh, look, you can see it. Notes comes through. Um, it's like, it's pretty much the same on the inside, but the outside has this like sheen to it. You see that? And so, because before you stamp, you have to wet the leather and let it soak in and then the stamps take easier or better, evidently, which, you know, I'm a beginner. I've never done this before, so... Um, I wet the leather and this leather it did that it kind of soaked into the leather it got on top of it But then it soaked in this it kind of just bubbled it like stayed on top of the surface So I have a feeling this has been sealed or something um, But I mean it's stamped okay the one thing I will not do I'm not like I said I'm not gonna make that line anymore. I mean I definitely I dragged the line on there way too hard and it stayed but otherwise I mean it turned out pretty cute you know it just says notes and this was just one of my little ones I mean I have um, I think there's watercolor paper in here and drawing paper yeah I had sketched in this one before um, but that was it I kind of oh no so I felt brave enough to do my big one I was gonna put my name on my big one so pretend this is my big one so I take out my books and I get it and I go ahead and I start stamping. My S turned out okay, but then my A was upside down. I had too much coffee or something and then I was just pissed off and I just, I stamped my R but it moved and bounced over there. So I did everything wrong on here and just learned, okay, what not to do. But basically that was my book. So I had to go to Michael's and get, luckily this was the last piece of leather. They, ha I think I bought all the leather, <laughs> but I got another piece of leather and remade the cover at least. And then, I mean, it does look kind of rough back here, but I don't mind. And like there's staple marks in here, but I'm not going to stamp this until I really get better. And I might not even stamp it. I just, I don't even think I need to, but I want to show you what's, oh. Real quick, I did get this. I was thinking, now this is a much more flexible leather. I don't know. It, it doesn't say, like, if it's how thick it is or anything. Because on the tutorials, they always talk about, like, the thickness of the leather. Oh, yeah, you can totally tell there's a difference in the thickness. But anyway, so this is, I'm going to, if I, I thought I would do my name on here and then cover it, like, make a little, um, you know make make my name in color I don't know but I I should have I don't know I, I didn't end up doing that I remade the cover um, and then I'm just gonna practice on these because I ended up cutting this off and making another book um, I made this one and I just basically used it to I, I fit it to this calendar these calendars that we get, you can get them for a dollar usually. I think this is a bit more because it's two years. But I managed to just cut it down. I cut my name off the bottom and then I cut the edges. And so in here I have, it's a little bit more colorful. I put um, a blue elastic and then I just, and I filled this with colored um, printer paper. It's just pastel colored printer paper. I made two booklets the same with the same just like for notes or whatever so this could just be kind of like a journal um, or whatever but what I really love is playing with these charms too so that's I mean see it's kind of snug see how the um, the books come to the edge but still at least I, I didn't waste it that's what I mean and I wouldn't have I would have made it definitely would have made a smaller one let's say yeah I could have made a smaller one I still I still could you know but look at this charm. This charm turned out so cool. You know what? Let me just, I want to show you what's in here and then I'm going to do charms. I'll do charms at the end because I have a couple different charms I want to show you. So this is 
um, my faux dory that I am going to be doing. I'm going to participate in the Listers Got a List Challenge, and that's the Reset Girl on YouTube. She also is, it's Corey, <clears throat> and she's on Instagram, <coughs> which I don't do Instagram, but um, she has a website, and all you do is go to the website, and she has um, a sheet that you can print out, which has the prompts. So for April, this is April because I kind of saw it in April, but I, it was like halfway through the month. So I thought, well, I want to do it, but we'll see. And then yesterday I ended up doing May too. So these are my two books. I'm going to go get Kirby. Be right. All right. Um, but these are my two books that I'm going to use for Lister's, the Lister's Got a List Challenge. So I decided to, I kind of, I guess I was inspired by the insert now this is a Midori insert this is one of the accessories and it's just a like file folder I showed you the one in here I actually put the one I made in here because I like this one better and it kind of matched this paper line which this is actually uh I think wait a minute it's a recollections paper called memories documented and it's just kind of all earth tone colors and I knew I had it in my stash it was brand new I'd never used it so I thought alright let me play with that so it was really fun yesterday I made these and you basically just put the months and I put the year and then the listers got a list and then inside the cover I put the prompts and I just put washi to match and then this will be page one so for yesterday I should have done this yesterday and then there should be actually a day two so tomorrow I'm planning on doing two pages of April and then I'm going to do two pages of May because tomorrow is May 2nd. So I did the same thing for May except for this book I did put the colored paper, paper in and just wanted to see the difference because I'm going to use like, um, I guess, what are they called? Like um, ephemera packs or something? Like I bought some Project Life packs. Um, but you can use anything. You can use whatever. But it's kind of like, it is kind of like a smash book, but it's for a list. So I'm going to do, like, the first one is re reasons why I love to list. And I am a list maker. Um, you know, so I'll put, maybe I don't have ten reasons, but I'll have a few. And then you just decorate the page. And then my, the best advice I was ever given. So all the, moments I wish I could do over oh gosh don't we all have those so but you can kind of decorate and then she's also got um, inside my folder here um, is she actually has the prompts set up in a way that you can print them out on a sticker page and she did that for you see here it is the reset girl so um, you just peel that off and put that at the top of the page. Anyway, she has it on her YouTube channel how she um, decorates her pages and stuff. Um, Kara, who is Caribou, something Caribou. Oh my gosh, Kara, sorry. AK Caribou. Um, but anyway, she's doing it too. There's a few people um, doing it. And uh, oh, these, these little, if you see anything that maybe was in my. Uh, uh, pocket letters. I'm starting to pull things from my pocket letters. Like I know these mason jars were, this washi was, this these stickers were, and I don't remember who they're from. I think these paper clips were Olga Mad Stamper because I, that was like one of the last ones I got. But and then I just decorated the file folder with a piece of the paper too. Um, and then the back of it, I put, I just fussy cut out this little bird to match. And so this is my April and May. And so I'm just keeping that in here. And then this, I just put, this is another, um, accessory you can get. And it's just like, kind of like a, it's not quite ATC size. It's just about ATC size, but a little smaller. And I just put double-sided paper in there and that way it kind of looks cute. And if I need any more supplies, I'll just put them in there. So, and that's what Corey did. Corey kind of... Um, has a great Midori um, and faux Dory, like all about Midori stuff. Um, and that's where I, that's the um, video I really loved. So 
that's what I'm doing with this one. This is my going to be my Lister's Got a List um, book. Uh, and I think maybe, you know, my Midori actually might be, I could, I'm keeping this in here, but I, and you know what, this paper seems pretty good. I might try, no, it's kind of thin. I think I'll put, because I have extra books. I made, <laughs> I might have, um, one of these might be with drawing paper, but like this is more of the paper from, um, see I did one with graph paper. And they're just stitched with, uh, I think it's called the saddle stitch, and it was really fun. They're really fun to make. This one, this one feels like drawing paper, so I think I might put this one in there. And then this, this feels just like um, computer paper. But I just kind of wanted to keep the Midori book in here. But if you put one more book, like I'll put this book in the middle. I could just put it right in the middle. If you put it, like it starts to get really chubby and then it sticks out. Like see how they stick out the end? See it sticks out the cover. Actually it's not bad. It's doable. I could do that. Um, but anyway, alright, so that's my extra books. Uh, 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 I wanted to show, oh, my charms. Okay, so then I went crazy with charms. I I'm loving how people, like Maya's for instance, okay, I made this kind of with a roller skate and headphones and then just like this little charm. So it just kind of jazzes it up, right? Um, I showed you the little ones before. I made this one today to match my little bee. This, is my, this was my first one I made, my very first one, and I love this bee. Um, and you kind of just string it on before you tie the knot on here. It's easy enough. And then I made this charm. I'm really loving the uh, the chains, like adding charms to a piece of chain. And then it like, so it says peace, there's that little eye. Um, there's just the moon and a star on this one. And then there's a little feather on that one. So different lengths of chain, different, um, different sizes of chain. I think that's three different sizes of chain. So I really love that. Which one, did, what else did I do today? I want to show you this one was that, this one, look at this. So on my calendar one, I put a little angel, these angel charms that I make. I just, just with a jump ring, just hook that to the cording, but look at this charm. All right. And I got these, I have to go get my phone. I want to show you. So this is chain that kind of comes down to like, this bead cap with this big bead and my made with love um, charms. Then there's another piece of chain and that just has a little bling on the end with like a bezel. Um, then this one, I made links with spacer beads. So they're just three different flowers from my stash that I had, three different sizes and shapes of flowers that I just connected to each other and then put this kind of pearl bead dangle on the end. And then I have one more of those um, bling bezels. But it's different chains. I think this is all four different kinds of chains. I just love it. I don't know if I'm even in the shot because I was just looking at that. Um, I love it. I love, love, love that. Um, really loving all the different colors. of. I'm, I was inspired. This one is actually, I don't know if this is bead landing or if this is... Um, I want to get some of this. I love this rhinestone chain. Um, what is it called? Um, Art Eye Cake. Because this was the Art Eye Cake one. Then I have... Uh, Alright, I'll be right back. I want to show you something. Alright, I'm back. I just wanted to get my phone because this is what I did. I just took pictures of these. I think... I want to say these are bead landing. Bead landing, yeah. But see this one? Hopefully you can see it. It has like... Um, I guess it's like a section, section, dangle, you know, and then there's chain and that. So that's, this is totally where the inspiration for that came from with the section, 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 and then the dangle. And then this one with the chain and then just like that teardrop. And then I just put a little, um, made with love on the bottom. And then there was like this big pearl, which I didn't have that. Um, these chains, see it's just chain and then there's like a ball on the bottom. 
I wanted to make some tassels, but I got really tired. <laughs> I mean, it's late right now. I'm, I, this took me all day to make this video because I just I had a busy day. Um, but, oh my gosh, and then I'm going to show you. Oh, I want to get this. See, these are those rhinestones. Like, this one's kind of like pink gems in there, um, but there's like rhinestone strands with little, I love those with like a thing on the band, um, on the top to hook it to your, but see that's just a ball, 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 and then a bead, and I just love that. So then this one, this is the one I made, okay, so see this, there's like a piece of fabric with a flower and stuff, so look what I made. So I took apart a couple of my, I've been wanting to redo some of these bookmarks with these little, um, it's like a clamp that you put on the end of fabric, right? So I had them, and I was going to change these up for what, because I have wider lace that I want to make these with. Um, so they were set aside and everything, and then I was like, oh my gosh, and I had, um, this is what, it's not satin, it's a uh, velvet, right? So I had this purple velvet, and you just double it over on itself so it makes like a loop. And then you clamp down on the ends, both ends. And I have a little jump ring there. And then I glued this flower to that. Then you put a big jump ring on the bottom through the ribbon. And then a couple of dangles. So I made this dangle and put a piece of chain. And I have one of my dragonflies on there. And then I should put this on a book. I'll show you. But look at this one. This is super cute. I think this might have come from Olga because I think it did. I told you guys, I'm pulling out whatever's cute in the in the um, uh, pocket letters that I wanted to try on here, but I glued this little bow. It's like a, I think she might have made these out of resin. I don't know, but they're adorable. I got a light pink one too. I just glued that to a piece of pink uh, velvet, jump ring down here, and then these two bead dangles. So... I'm going to hook that to, I think I'm going to hook it on to here real quick and just show you what that would look like. But, so I've been just enjoying decorating these a little bit. Um, and what I was going to say, like about the Lister's Got a List Challenge, they can be as fancy or as, um, you know, simple as you want to make them. And I think it's, it, it's a cute way and it's small. I like that it's like a small page. I don't want to lose all my chains. But see, it's basically just on a big jump ring. And then this one, I have a little jump ring and like a medium one because that makes it hang better. But I'll show you how it looks. Um, but the Lister's Got a List pages, for the, the majority pages, I mean, are, they're small. So it's not like a huge page. It's not overwhelming. So I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy that and just be able to use some of my, um, so let me see if I can hold this up a little bit. I don't know. Does that look cute? I think it looks cute. I mean, you could hang it off of the front of here too, but I think it looks cute. And it just hangs flat, but that's super cute. I just, so like I said, I'm a copycat. I could, I wouldn't have thought of this myself, but when I saw it there, I sure can copy pretty good, right? And this was another one I had shown previously. But again, it's just one of those big blings, and I think I took it off other pieces. There's two little thin chains a different chain with Made With Love and another different chain with this little um, charm. And this was a, give, a gift to me too um, from a swap a while back. But it just I like the feel of those. So I'm loving this. This is like my new favorite type of charm. These chain charms. So, alright. I'm going to go. Let me think if that was it. I think that's it. I'm going to go see what this looks like. And, you know, check out Lister's Got a List, or it's the Reset Girl, um, Lister's Got a List. And see, this is another one that was just already made like this. But see, that's that rhinestone bling that I like. I want to get that. 
Yeah, so, and then because what happens is with the Lister's Got a List, it's going to tell someone, so favorite songs of all time, so my favorite songs, clothes I wore in high school, names of all the pets I've had, favorite planner supplies, favorite quotes, I love that one. So I'm looking forward to it. I mean, April's already over. I can't believe we're already in May, May 2nd. Um, but so I'm going to catch up. I'm going to play catch up this week and get these done. So um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.